What are you doing, Rachel? I'm having a bed pull. I'm having a pull in for the bedroll. Okay, you hammer away. What you doing, Ray? I'm putting my hay in here, and then I'm going to slide it all the way up so it locks. All right, you're locking it in there to make a mat. Is that what you guys are making a roll sleeping mat? Yeah. All right. Well, let's see what happens. Donna's going to lift it up again. Ready? Yeah. Here we go. And Ray's going to put another piece in there. Very good. That's looking good. Well, that looks good, Ray. Are you pushing that last piece in now? Yeah. Good. So it looks like you guys have a pretty nice mat that you and Becca can sleep on. Yeah. That's awful. That's awful nice. I like it. All right, so now what? Now you're going to take these ends and you're going to tie them off? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, so what are you doing here, Donna? I'm trying a square knot in this one here to tie off the mat. All right, you're tying off the ends now? Yes. Very fine. All right, well, we'll let you get a couple of those tied off, and then we'll get back with you when it's almost done. All right. Well, girls, this is looking pretty good. What are you doing there, Donna? I'm cutting off all the excess cordage here. Okay. We used to tie the mat together. And how'd you get these ends so nice and straight? Well, we had took the axe and had it chopped off so that they were nice and even. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Well, that looks like that could be a pretty comfortable sleeping mat. Look up here, Beck. Everybody wave. I hope you guys liked their project. That was awesome. You guys did great. Good, Matt. Why don't you hold it up so everybody can see how big it is. Very good. Nice project. I took the sides down some more and I shaved them off. I put some notches in them and I took the handle down. And I'm just going to pull up real slow and make sure that both of these limbs are bending at the same distance which it looks pretty good I think I've got that we're gonna go ahead and just grease this this is the third time that I've put oil on here I've heated it a few times over the coals and let it set so you can see this wood is really sucking up this oil and I think we're just about finished with this uh, we finished the bowl out looks really really nice very even inside that little crack up on the top you can see that where that uh, not chipped a little bit but it's not going to affect the spoon it's still going to be good and the back end nice and smooth it's got a good thick handle Tam likes it that way so she can hold like on to it, it easier it? Yeah, it's got, it? got some beautiful colors this is cedar so we're going to see if this holds together after it dries out we'll let it dry slowly in the shade or inside and not rush it to dry if you rush it it's going to crack for okay, sure I just gathered all so, the arrow that I could find around the yard and in the field and I hung it out in bundles to dry. After it's dried then we'll crush it and use it for tea or for to pack in to take it and put it in an airtight container and store it in a dark place. And were you making a tincture with some of this in olive oil as I'm well? I'm going to be making tincture with plantain in olive oil and I've collected it and put it in a small jar which I'm going to add olive oil to shortly and that takes six weeks and you have to continually, daily, turn it over. I can feel. So you've got that hole in there now? Yeah. I started on this side and flipped it over and I don't know if you can see, but I'm clear through the little hole. And there's the all right there through it. Very good. All right, what you doing now? Well, I'm making a groove in either side so that I can just snap my needle off to continue filing down the sides of my needle, but obviously I don't need this great big piece. There you go. Now I'll just finish sanding off my needle. All right, I finished cutting the bow. I finished sanding it, and I put string on it. Looks pretty good. I put this feather on top. One of our viewers told us that it would tell you the direction of the wind, which it does. Pretty good. 
and um, looks like it's about ready to shoot. Very good, very good. It's a fine looking bow. You did a great job. I finally got all, most of the black scraped out of the inside and sanded down where it's all nice and smooth. Then I got the side shape. Well, that looks like a fine cup. Going to give you many years of usage. Very good project. Awesome job. Alright, I've got this hide. Uh, it was way too wet to work yesterday, so I've still got to work it. I found a hole in it and I stitched that hole up there. So once I get that done, all I have to do is work it and then it will be good leather for my shirt. Good project, Chris. Thank you. Looking forward to the finish thing. Thank you. I've got, in this jar here, we added the olive oil to the plantain, which we're going to make a tincture out of that for bug repellent and for itches. And that after you get bit by a bug. And this is the dried yarrow that we gathered and collected. And if you take your finger and just pull along the stem, you would take these leaves here and use that for a tea. You don't want to use the stem, but you can use that for a tea. If you feel like you kind of got a little bit of the flu or something, you can use the yarrow for that or for female cramping. And this is the ground dried yarrow that we've already gathered and dried and ground it up in the things that we can use for packing into wounds. Well, it looks like your project was a success. Do you feel it was, Donna? Yes, I do. A lot I learned. <laughs> Well, Batya, how did your project turn out? Came out better than I thought for my first try. Here is my bowl that I did with the fire, and then I sanded it out, I pitted it out, cleaned it out, sanded it out, and then I did two coats of oil in it. Very nice. And how's the bottom look? Is the bottom flat? Oh, yep. good. Bottom I flat. I sand that part here, and it doesn't spill. So you can set it down. Yep. Well, what a great project. Are you happy with it? Yep. Did you learn a lot? Yep. Hard work. Well, I got my spoon done and uh, doesn't look half bad. We had a viewer ask about could you use cedar or would it give a bad taste to your food. No, cedar won't give a bad taste to your food. In fact, uh, a lot of people use cedar plank cooking in order to cook other things. So there's my spoon. I think it turned out pretty nice. Tam likes it. She's going to use it for a stirring vessel and uh, turned out to be a good project. Daddy, I made you a surprise. Look at that. What a beautiful fork Rachel made, Daddy. Daddy didn't know much about this. Looks like she carved it out herself, put my name on it, and I'm going to use that proudly. Thank you, baby. Hi, all. Well, I got my project done. This would be my spoon. It's for when I do my canteen cooking to dig in and I can grab those delicious greens better. And this is my bone needle. And ready to do some work with my bone needle. So all in all I had a great time making these projects. And my scapula coal shovels turned out excellent. We've been using them to move the coal around in the fire and they withstood the rainstorm very well. The nice thing about bones. So all in all, the projects turned out well. Had a great week learning new things. This is Tam Wendell with Bushcraft on Fire thanking you for joining us, for being part of our Feast of Tabernacles camp out. We had a great time and we're glad you did too. Stay tuned for new videos. What are we doing? Licking a piece of my watermelon. Are you sharing your watermelon uh -huh. with us? Oh, now you're going to have a bite? <laughs>